All right, so we have the Google Search Console set up. This is one side of the coin. Uh, Google is the largest search engine out there. It's got more than 60% market share globally. And it's got these tools that let us keep track of this data when people search and visit our website. And this looks really good, but this is the tip of the iceberg of what is also provided with Google Analytics. So what we're going to do is move over to look at the Google Analytics website. This is google.com slash analytics. So I'll, I'll put that into our into our into our notes. But that's the Google Analytics homepage. Google.com slash analytics. So this, uh, compared to Search Console, this is much more powerful and you'll probably spend more time here than over on Search Console. Um, for all of our clients, we have Search Console and Analytics both set up and we visit them every month to check everything out, but we spend most of the time on analytics. Now, they've recently started to change this site, and you'll see lots of stuff to look at here and why it's so great. You'll see at the top small business, enterprise mobile apps. They've really put in a lot of effort into keeping this very useful and, and relevant. On the top right corner, if you click sign in here, this is also something that's new. We have Google Analytics 360 Suite premium, adometry, regular old analytics, tag manager, and data studio. Honestly, I myself need to educate myself on most of these because they're all really new. They're, they're like within the last year or in the last nine months that these things have been put out there. And I've got experience for a lot of years with Google Analytics, and that's the big famous one. You look that up online, everyone's got articles about it. These other ones, everything else, this is very new. I don't know too much about them myself, so I can't really speak about them. But there's apparently a premium version of it, and premium often is code word for not free. So I don't know what it has, but there's some premium version. I don't know what the 360 suite is either. We're going to focus on classic analytics, which is free and still very powerful. So in the top right corner, click sign in and then select Google Analytics. And if this is the first time you set it up, most likely it'll most likely it'll have three icons. Let me see what yours looks like. Again, mine's already set up, so it's going to be different than you guys will probably see. Yes, three icons. Step one, two, three, and um, step one, two, three, and then a fourth icon, which is sign up. Go ahead and click sign up. So you sign up, and then you're going to get a screen. Okay. It'll say new account. Let me explain what that what that says. You're seeing a screen that looks something like this, new account. First it says, are you tracking data on your website or your mobile app? So you can if you have an app, you can you can also track its data for usage and such. Um, website. So we got account name and set up property. This is the confusing part. So let me show it to you in the easiest way to explain it like this. I've already got this set up. And as I said, I work with a lot of clients and we do this for these clients. Notice how I've got every client organized into its own folder. That's the account name that it's asking for us. What's the name? What's the, mo what's the top most level of organization? What's the name of that folder that you're going to create to to track your data for your properties. So for example, this website over here, 
this folder up here, this is the account, and inside of it I have these properties. I have the property to track the YouTube data, the main website data, and then the other YouTube channel. So each of these websites are the properties in the next box. <clears throat> the first box is the account name, the name of the folder. In your case, most likely you're going to have one account and one property. But notice the use case scenarios. For this a client, this account has these properties. The YouTube, the Google+, the blog, etc. So what you're going to fill out is some name here to help you organize that. So let's say simply I'm going to be tracking my Victor's Bakery data. So I'm going to make a folder called Victor's Bakery. And then the property that I'm going to track, I'm going to track the website data, maybe I'm going to track the YouTube data, I'm going to track the blog and the shopping cart, I'm going to track different things. So that's what it's asking you here, the property of the website. It's simply the, I'll call this main website. This can be anything you want, because later on I'm going to add a new property to this account and call it YouTube, and I'll track the data from YouTube. website URL, here you select either the non-secure or secured version, and it doesn't matter if you put the www or not. Let's say I'm doing the non-www. Industry category, uh, Google Analytics gives you a lot of data. And depending on the industry that you might select here, it'll show you the data in a specific way. I think, and I recommend, that instead you select Other, even though yours fits in here somewhere. I recommend other simply because this is the view that will show you the most data. I sh I'm going to show some advanced things in a moment and some people might not have those things because you selected you know the science section and the one I'm going to show isn't isn't shown there unless you look at it under other. Your time zone should be correct. It should have uh, it should have mentioned. Uh, I mean, it should have noticed uh, Pacific time. Then there's all of these check marks that are on, and it says recommended. It doesn't hurt or help for you to have them on. But what this is about is, it's gonna Google Analytics is going to collect data, and right here you're agreeing, share my Google Analytics data with Google to help me improve the the service. So yes or no. Benchmarking. Contribute anonymous data to help check other stats. Yes or no. Let Google Tech Support access my data if I need them to. Yes or no. And a Google Marketing Specialist, which is someone that is going to try to want to sell you extra Google services. So it doesn't hurt if you turn them all off. And when you need them, they can be turned on. If you do get in touch with Tech Support and you need them to look at your data, you can turn it on at that point. So whatever you'd like to do here, but if you want to maintain a bit more privacy, you can you can turn them turn them all off. You can track up to 17 items, 17 accounts. I mean, 100, and I'm doing 17 at the moment. Click Get Tracking ID. There's going to be a box here of stuff that about reading about what is Google Analytics and agreeing and all that stuff. If you don't accept it, you can't use it, basically. So you have to select Accept. And then there's only one way to verify, whereas Google Search Console, we had like five different ways to verify this. Here we only have one way. Before I explain that, 
let's do a little segue here. At the top we have the, the home screen of Google Analytics, the home icon, reporting, customization, admin. We're currently in admin. Click on home. Home takes you to a screen that looks like this where you just created the account and you have the property inside. We'll look into this in detail. Reporting will show you all your data. Customization will let you create views that are focused to show you certain data because we're going to get so much data. Instead of digging around and finding the piece again, we can just create a customized report. And then admin is the screen where it shows you three columns. This is the account you created, the property in the account, and a view. Notice in my case, under home, I have all of these clients. And under admin, there they are again, account and all of the clients. I'm going to edit my settings or view my admin information for this client, this account. Within an account, which is a folder, I have a property. So I've got the main website in here. As I showed a moment ago, for this one here, VMC Inc., if I look at account, I have look at this YouTube data, look at the main site, look at the financial site, etc. So properties are the different websites in the account. The number where? Oh, the, the this is your unique number right there for uh, just internal purposes. It's like a serial number for that particular account. And then the last column is view. So what I'm getting at here is uh, we need to verify your site. There's going to be code that it gives you. It's very easy to lose track. Where was that code again? You can get back to it right here. Under the admin, you've got your particular account selected, most likely only one. And then under property column, you will see JS, tracking info, tracking code. It's easy to lose, tra it's to lose track of your tracking code. Uh, but here on the center column, property, you look inside of tracking info, tracking code. Click there, and then there, there's the code. So what we need to do is, we need to add this code to our website. We need to verify. Um, it doesn't exactly tell you, uh, like, Search Console. Search Console, we could either upload an HTML file or add some code. Here, the only way to do it is by adding code. You have to copy and paste this whole block of code from script to script. You have to copy it, and you have to paste it into your website's uh, head section. This is to get the benefits, copy and paste this code into every web page you want to track. Technically that's saying your home page, your about page, your contact page. But if you're using a modern system like WordPress that's based on templates, you add this to the main template and it will add it to all your pages. We're going to do a little break in a moment again to give individual help. But this one, if you want this to work and give you all of the Google Analytics data, you have to copy and paste this into the head section of your of your, of your site. Now there is a method with via PHP that's even more complicated. You can use Google Tag Manager. So let's take a quick break. If anyone needs help setting this up, call me over and we'll add your analytics.